This is Kamakya, one of the most important temples and pilgrimage places for Tantric Hindus. This place is often associated with black magic, animal sacrifice, and other things that the rest of India usually finds taboo. The legend says that Shiva's wife Sati's corpse fell to the earth, and this is where her yoni fell, or her womb. During special times of the year, this temple attracts unusual characters. Some that use dead bodies in their rituals, and others that just come here to be blessed by the Divine Mother or the Divine Aspect of the Universe. Let's go see what this place is like on a normal day. Okay, so now we're gonna go to a temple called Kamakya. It's about 30 minutes from here. And Kamakya is a really ancient temple, maybe 1200 years old, and it might even go back further than that as far as being a space of worship. But it's a really interesting temple because it's one of the only tantric, temp truly tantric temples in the world. And uh, there people do the sort of original rituals of Sanatana Dharma, of Hinduism. And um, you see some very uh, unique practices that, that happen there and people pilgrimage to this temple. And it's believed that this is where Shiva's wife's corpse, when pieces of her body fell to the earth, this is where her yoni fell, her divine womb, it fell here at this temple. So it's a really unique temple. And uh, in June, the river naturally runs red due to the monsoon. I guess maybe pushing minerals through the water. And uh, they recognize it as being this sort of menstrual cycle of the area and being a sort of uh, symbolism of uh, yeah the menstrual flow. And that's maybe one of the reasons why they built the temple there. This temple in this area during certain times of the year, like in June, attracts all kinds of interesting people that practice interesting things. Like for example, the Agori, the people that use dead bodies in their rituals or people that do animal sacrifice or sort of the esoteric or tantric side of Hinduism that uh, is not often openly practiced or acknowledged as being a part of Hinduism today. But usually on days like today, just normal days, it's pretty calm. So let's go and see what's going on. Don't spit here or there. So just outside the temple here, you can get all kinds of puja stuff, like offering objects, flowers, or ceremonial things like shivalings, or um, you know, little things that have mantras on them, or even toys for kids, like uh, Spider-Man and other stuff. So pretty much anything you want. And it's not uncommon inside of the temple to see some dead animals lying around like sickly looking goats or uh, dead pigeons. I read online that there are, some of them are sacrificed and I, I can't confirm it for sure but they're definitely laying around on the ground. Oh, look at his oh, there's not balls, I thought it was balls. No. <laughs> it's her udders. It's her boobs. <laughs> yeah. Look at his face.
goat yoga. I don't know if it's broken or if it's just chilling. Look at this one. Jesus. Goats, they get killed? They kill them? Yeah? Do you speak English? No. A sacrifice. Jema. Tulsi ka mahatu. ये वैष्णव लोग ही पहनते हैं। हम्म। देश रीलांग। ये कैमरा देखे कितना छोटा है। सी। छोटा कैमरा। काम बड़ा। हम्म हम्म। आपसे मिलकर खुशी हो जी। थैंक यू। थैंक यू। आपसे मिलकर खुशी। हरे कृष्णा। हरे राम। हरे कृष्णा। Well, yep, so they are sacrificing them. Here you can see people lined up inside. Some of these people come here really, really, really early in the morning, like three in the morning, and wait all day just to get inside to see the Yoni Murti that I believe is in the basement where a sort of natural well is. And I believe that the Yoni is a natural structure, and that's why the temple was built around it.
At least someone's feeding them. So all the mandirs right here seem to be related to the goddesses. Like this one right here that we're going to visit, just outside of Kamakya is a mandir for Tara. Tara temple. I forget what Tara means, do you know? I don't think it's Buddhist necessarily. Jai Ma means something like victory to the Divine Mother. So that's pretty much it for a normal day at Kamakya. There's a big cow right here outside though. Let's check it out. Let's say hello. If you want to see more of India in places like this, then uh, yeah, follow my YouTube channel. Click subscribe. You can turn the little notification thing on. Then it'll ding ya. It'll ding ya every time I make a little video. I'll be in India for a while. I've got some videos to make. So see you there. Om.